In this, the 238th year since the founding of Phillips Academy, and the 188th year since the founding of Abbott Academy, we now begin the commencement exercises at the exhibition for the graduating class of 2016. <laughs> Please stand for the invocation and the singing of America. Good morning. Finis origine pendat, the end depends on the beginning. And here at last, on this commencement morning, you have finally reached the tipping point of this Andover truism. Over the years, you will no doubt hearken back to all the lessons you learned here, back to your salad days when you were young and feeling invincible. These days, but most importantly, the relationships they endeared will linger in your hearts long after you have left the confines of Andover. Everyone remembers these sorts of things, the universal puzzle pieces of our past. But what I wish for you this morning is something a bit more fleeting, something different than this panoply of collective recollection. What I wish for you today is that somehow, somehow, you will remember this one moment, the moment when you teetered right on the edge between your past and your future. What I wish for you is that somehow you will remember this one moment when the world was your oyster and everything was full of promise and possibility. For all the other moments of your lives, let the principle of non sibi guide you, whatever you may do, wherever you may wander. Finis origine pendat, what could be more worthy for your extraordinary talents? Amen. <laughs> You may be seated. <laughs> Members of the school, families, friends, we are about to honor those members of the senior class who, by reason of intellectual curiosity, high scholarship and good character have won membership in the Cum Laude Society. Will the members elect please stand? <laughs> the 
The Phillips Academy chapter was founded in 1907, and in 1926, Abbott Academy became the first school, girl school to establish a chapter. In January of each year, we elect those members of the senior class who have achieved high scholarship during the whole of their upper year and the fall term of the senior year. In June, those seniors who have achieved high scholarship during the spring term of upper year and the whole of their senior year are elected. By the authority of the Cum Laude Society, I present you with gold keys and certificates of membership to be collected in the circle of diplomas. Will your two representatives, Amy Chow and Sean Hawkins, please step forward. You may be seated. 